What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Log Cannon and today we are doing something very special. We have a Cajun seafood boil with a special Cannon's Cajun sauce. Let's get right into this. Okay, first we're going to start off with our red potatoes. We're going to cut these in half and these potatoes have already been washed and cleaned. So make sure you guys wash and clean your potatoes because just make sure you wash everything before you cook it, especially in a time like this. But yeah, let's cut these directly in half and then we're going to set these inside. Okay, now we also have our corn on the cob that's already been cut in half. So we're going to place this corn and potatoes into a big pot of water. We're going to cut that up on high to get this boiling and then we're going to slap it with that slap your mama Cajun seasoning. Now I have the white can of this, which is like the white pepper. I really like this better than the regular one. However, if whatever one works better. Then we're gonna add some chicken bouillon. I just love what this does to the flavor of this water. Mix this up, bring it to a boil, boom. Don't even think about that right now. Let's move on to the next thing. This is an optional step. However, I love eggs in my seafood boil, so boom, drop some eggs in there. Let's make some boiled eggs out of that water as well. Now, I know you guys watch YouTube, especially when you're making all these seafood sauces, these seafood mukbangs, mukbangs, however you say it. But this is my Cannon's Cajun sauce. Now, we're going to start off with two teaspoons of that same Slap Your Mama seasoning. Go ahead and hit it with one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Go with two teaspoons of lemon pepper. What's any seafood boil or seafood sauce without Old Bay season? So we're going to add two teaspoons of Old Bay. Let's hit this with two teaspoons of chili powder. <laughs> Cannot forget that paprika. We're going to add in our seasoned salt, Lari's, Lari's seasoned salt. We're going to add in one heaping tablespoon of that. We're going to add in one teaspoon of black pepper. Let's add in our two teaspoons of onion powder. Now we are done with our seasoning blend. So this is our seasoning blend for the actual sauce. We're going to get back to this later. Let's set this aside. Now, not only am I adding the Cajun sauce to the actual seafood in the bag, we're going to actually have a dipping sauce as well. So right now we're going to cut up one whole onion, chop this up very fine. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can chop this onion up, um, but this is the way I chop my onion up. And then we're going to set this aside as well, because this is going to be for our dipping sauce. Now we are going to start off our Cajun dipping sauce. So with this dipping sauce, we're going to start off with two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning. Two teaspoons of Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning, the white version. One teaspoon of seasoned salt. Two teaspoons of onion powder. One teaspoon of lemon pepper. Gonna add one teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Now be careful with the crushed red pepper because this carries a lot of heat. So we're gonna just go with one teaspoon. 
Let's hit that with two teaspoons of garlic powder. <laughs> Those secret seasoning. <laughs> Uh, one teaspoon of brown sugar but you can also add two if you would like just add this just I like the contrast of flavors with the spicy and the sweet then we're gonna hit it with a little bit more slap your mama and boom set that aside too now get about three to four sticks of butter and we're going to start our seafood sauce Now stir this butter until it completely melts. You want to have your heat on about medium or low, like low to medium, like the perfect mixture. You don't want to have it too high because you don't want to burn your butter or the ingredients that you're about to add. Now get ready to add your minced garlic. We're going to go with about two to three teaspoons of minced garlic and you want to give this a constant stir because you do not want your garlic to burn at the bottom of this pot that's why i said make sure that heat is between low and medium so let's consistently stir that and then we're going to add in one cup of chicken broth i've tried to make this sauce with a lot of different ingredients but this chicken broth adds such a good body of flavor trust me and take a half of a lemon and we're going to squeeze all of the juice out of that lemon into this sauce Trust me, like everything I'm telling you about this sauce, trust me, because it's gonna be so much freaking flavor in here. So next we're gonna add our actual seasoning blend. Make sure you add the right seasoning. We're adding the seasoning that we first created um, for this Cajun sauce, the first seasoning. So let's make sure we stir all of this consistently. Let this come to a boil and then cut this down to a low medium heat once again. And boom, all your flavors are brought together. This is very optional. However, I like to do this um, for my seafood boils. I do like to add one teaspoon of flour. What this does is just makes this sauce a little bit more thick. That's the only thing I will add to this to make it more thick. I know some people add cornstarch. Some people use two teaspoons of flour. I would prefer just this one small teaspoon of flour and consistently whisk this so that your um, sauce isn't too thick. Now, set that sauce aside and let's create our seafood bag. So we're gonna get these turkey bags. You can get these from any grocery store. Um, we're gonna get a turkey bag, fill it up with your crab legs, add your shrimp, add your red potatoes, add your corn that was just boiling, uh, peel your eggs, um, put your boiled eggs inside of here, add a couple of sliced lemons, and we're gonna pour that Cajun sauce all over this bag. to pour that sauce all over this bag and then we're going to close this bag up tie it up or put the actual bag tie that came with this and we're going to bake this in the oven in a pan at 350 degrees or 375 for about 30 minutes 30 to 35 minutes Now for this actual dipping sauce, it's actually very similar to the Cajun sauce that we made. This time we're just not gonna add any flour, um, but we're gonna start off melting four sticks of butter. Let's 
let's add our minced garlic. We're gonna go with two teaspoons of minced garlic inside of this melted butter. <laughs> this is on low to medium heat. And then we're going to add in our chopped onion that we chopped up earlier. Make sure you whisk all of the onion and all of the garlic to make sure nothing's burning at the bottom of this pan. Because if you do this right, this will be the sauce you go to every single time. Now we're gonna add in about three little, four little, five little shakes of Louisiana hot sauce. Just depends on how spicy you would like your um, dipping sauce to be, but I add in about like three to four little shakes. And then we're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, W sauce, okay? <laughs> we're gonna add this as well. This gives it a really nice volume and a really nice body of flavor to this dipping sauce. What we're gonna add next is ground ginger. Now what this ground ginger does, it gives it such a nice little spice, yet this different kick that normal Cajun sauces don't really have. So we're gonna add that and continue to whisk this until it is completely mixed. Now our last step is adding in the second round of spices that we made earlier and continuing to mix all of this up. Make sure it comes to a boil, then cut it on low and let all those flavors blend in and mix really well and boom, you have your dipping sauce. Now our 35 minutes is up and we have our seafood bag. It's gonna be very hot at the top, so please be careful. This bag is very hot, but look at that seafood. Like, all those flavors are well blended. You have your corn that's coated with this sauce, your egg, your crab legs, your shrimp. I threw in some fresh parsley, of course, because who doesn't love parsley? It makes everything look better. Don't forget that, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, this was asked for by a lot of my viewers, subscribers, um, followers on Instagram and Twitter. So yeah, be sure to ask and comment. And let me know what you guys want to see me make next because I will do my best to make it. But thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and please be sure to tune into the next video and we are out of here.